Does he have an air conditioner in there? <laughs> First, we're going to head down the lagoon stairs. Our refuge has one of the most biodiverse estuaries in the United States, the Indian River Lagoon. This lagoon provides habitat for over 2,200 animals and 2,100 plants. Many visitors come here to enjoy the tranquility of the lagoon. Visitors can enjoy other recreational activities such as fishing, swimming, or jogging along the shoreline. And if you prefer to just relax, we have plenty of benches and shade for you to sit down and read a book. Our intercoastal lagoon, home to thousands of species of wildlife. Quiet, peaceful, lots of shade. Our refuge features other habitats such as the Florida sand pine scrub and hardwood hammocks that we maintain through mechanical treatments such as those you'll see here. Our visitor center is free and operated by the Nature Center, a nonprofit partner of the refuge. Inside, there are live animals and interactive exhibits. They also offer a variety of programs such as turtle walks, summer camps, and weekly naturalist hikes, so people of all ages can learn more about Florida's ecosystems. And what big fish has moved in? And cost a lot of Lionfish. Our beach is on our Jupiter Island tract. It has a $5 parking fee, and we sell a variety of passes at our fee booth. Our beach is a nesting spot for thousands of sea turtles. Three out of seven of the sea turtle species that exist worldwide nest here, the loggerhead, leatherback, and green sea turtles. We've had anywhere from 2,000 to about 4,000 nests in a year. So come spend a day at the Nathaniel P. Reed Hope Sound National Wildlife Refuge. Whether you're at the lagoon or the beach, there'll be plenty of wildlife and fantastic views.